So now we have another 1,100 that pulls into page one. There's the 1,100 in our formula. We still have the 13,850 standard deduction gets us the taxable income 87,150. If I go back on over here, we can see that we have the 87,150. If I then go to page two, then we now have the tax at the 14,430 calculated by the software 14,430. And so I can look at the difference between that two, those two and say, okay, what's the difference between the tax? It's $164. What, what did I change? Well, I put another $1,000. So I put another $1,000 in. So the tax rate that I had is this divided by this on that $1,000, right? If that $1,000 got taxed at the 15% uh, or 16% basically. Uh, and so, and what really happened is 800 of it, right? We had 800 got taxed at the fat favorable rate, which I believe is going to be 15%. And then, and then the rest of it, the 200 got taxed at ordinary income, right? So I can say, okay, let's make this a percent home tab number percent, 15%, that's 800 times 15. And then the 200, if I go back on over and look at my, my summary, my marginal tax rate, the highest tax rate is uh, uh, the 22%. So 22%, 0.22, this is this times this. And so this plus this is gonna be my 164. See, so normally I don't recalculate that to show that, uh, you know, because I'm just doing the data input. But when we're discussing with a taxpayer, what does it mean to be a qualified versus non-qualified? You get a, you get a, this favorable tax bracket situation, and if you got taxed at ordinary income, the added amount of ta of income you had would be taxed at the highest bracket, twenty two percent. But the the qualified dividends will typically have a favorable tax. In this case, at the fifteen percent. Now, here's your tables uh, that will help you to kind of determine that. But the general idea would be whatever your highest tax bracket is. If it's going to be a qualified dividend, you'll typically get a benefit for it. So if here's the filing statuses, if your income is below these thresholds for the filing statuses, they're going to have to drop it down to basically zero. So you don't get taxed on them because your, your marginal tax rate is fairly low. Then if you go to these income thresholds, then you're, you have a tax rate over 15% and therefore to give you a, a beneficial tax bracket, they're going to have to drop it down to 15% instead of your ordinary income marginal or highest tax rate. That's going to be the uh, general idea. But of course, internally, the software basically does that for us. So if I go back on over, we can see on page number two, uh, then now the calculation of the tax is a bit more complex, right? Because now they're going to have to break out. You can see this 800. I won't go through the whole thing but they basically are breaking out the 800 so they can apply the tax at the 120, 15%. You can see that they're populating here and it gets to be a big, long, ugly uh, mess. So there is that. Now, if we bring the, the dividends up above the 15,000, we'll have to add the Schedule B. So let's just do another one and say, let's say we had another one for, I don't know, uh, B of A, Let's say this was uh, 16,000 and let's say 15,000 of it was uh, all uh, was uh, or was qualified. So if I go back on over now, 